Well, this is the sixth Blackbird that we have seen on this trip. This one looks like an SR-71. Oh, she looks nice. Looks like an A model. It is. She's big. I've never seen one with the uh, ailerons all the way down. Both sides. It's almost like the flight controls aren't connected. Actually, they're all down, so they must be. No tail number on her, eh? See how the whole thing is held together by screws? Yeah. You can just, they had to be able to replace pieces of it. They regularly had to replace panels. And you can just undo any part of it that had gotten screwed up or burned up or... I'm amazed that there's some round head rivets back here on a Mach 3 aircraft. I'm amazed. I'm also amazed that I'm seeing some of those little those little fasteners there. I mean, I've seen those on Cessnas. I've got a couple of those. Those little tiny fasteners, they're, they're little quick on release things. That, that panel would come off quite easily. Just wasn't expecting to see them on a Blackbird. You can see how thick the the vertical stabilizers are so the vertical stabilizers on this plane you see how they tilt in together that was a very early idea to diffuse radar they were originally on the a12 made straight vertical and it was actually a corvair design from another company they were competing with that uh, said no no we're, we're canting ours inwards for radar signature and lockheed said oh yeah oh, we'll do that too so they did. And the fuselage length is mostly because of fuel tanks. It needed a lot of fuel. It couldn't carry any external. Well, actually it could, but they didn't. And they've actually mounted all kinds of different things on these things. They flew them for over 30 years.